children. Can you hear that? Oh no, it's Ellie. Ellie, wake up, wake up. It's time for online service. Wake up, Ellie. Today, we are going to talk about how God can lead us if we are willing to listen. Relax, relax, Ellie. I know you are excited. I'm sure you too. But before we do that, let's worship God by singing praises to Him. Let's stand up. It says to me, 
It tells me that I'm never ever alone I'm learning how J.S.U.S. Can down to us and gave his best Out of doubt the best friend you'll ever know Ah, oh, God knows exactly what I need God opens up the door When you ask, he cares When you seek, he's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door today. I'm so thankful for everything you give, for food, for love, and a place to live. Thank you for my family too. Father God, please help me to listen to you. Help my heart and mind to be quiet 
so I can hear you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Isn't it wonderful to praise God? Do you know that we can praise God in church and at home too? Hmm. Now I'm going to see how many of you are paying attention and are really listening. Alright, Ali. I'll play a few sounds, and you need to guess what it is. Can you do that? Good morning, children. Are you ready to play? Hello, children. Can you guess who I am? That's right, children. Just like how you know those voices and can recognize them, we need to learn how to recognize God's voice too. I know, I know. And you learn the way to be able to hear Him and obey Him. That's right, Ali. Wow, good job. Now, we're going to hear a story about a boy who actually heard God speak to him. And God called his name just like how your daddy calls your name. My name? Ali. That's right, Ali. So now, Teacher Mark is going to tell us about the story. Let's welcome Teacher Mark. Hi, children. Thanks, Teacher Joy. I love the elephant puppy. I hope all of you enjoy singing and dancing with Teacher Mary and the worship team. Today, I'm going to tell you about how a young boy heard God speak to him. It's a great story and I will follow it up with a video. So children, do you remember our lesson from three weeks ago from Teacher Monica? Remember the lady who said, who desperately wanted something. Do you remember what she wanted? And what did she promise God if God gave her her wish? Think, it wasn't that long ago. Do you remember? Yes, we learned about Hannah, who did not have children. So she asked God for a son, and she promised that she would let her son serve in the temple and yes god gave her her son and hannah let her son serve in the temple with eli the priest so today children we are going to learn what happens to hannah's son samuel as he learns to follow god in the temple he is now a young boy like some of you Samuel worked for Eli. In the past, many, many years ago, priests were chosen by God to lead the people. But when they got old and died, their sons would take over as the new leaders. However, Eli had bad sons. They were very, very greedy. In the olden days, the people gave meat to God as an offering, the best part of the meat, and then the remainder was given to the priest. However, Eli's sons took the best part of the meat and gave the remainder to God. Eli's sons, although they were priests in the temple, but instead of listening and obeying God, they purposely disobeyed God. They went out with women instead of their own wives. And guess what? The people really didn't like them at all. Samuel, however, whose father was not a priest, was also working in the temple. Remember Hannah put Samuel in the temple so Eli could take care of him? and bring him up as a priest? 
Samuel was not at all like Eli's sons. Samuel was good. He served God in the temple. He listened to God. He spoke the truth and received and spoke God's word. So children, who do you think God used in bringing forth his word? Now, because we were so good children in listening to the first part of the story, let me show you a video of what happened to Samuel one day while he was sleeping. Samuel. Here I am, sir. What? What? You called me. Called you? No, I didn't. Go back to bed, son. Samuel. What is it this time? You called me, sir. Why would I call you? No, you called my name. Oh, please, Samuel. I'm tired. Go back to bed. Samuel. Eli. Eli, sir. What? 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 Where is it? What is it? What? Surely what? you called me that time. I heard it so clearly. Uh, oh. oh, Samuel. You're too young to be hearing the... Uh, hmm. uh, oh. And now, Samuel, listen very carefully. I want you to go back to bed. If the voice comes again... Say, speak, Lord, thy servant hears you. Huh? Samuel. Samuel. Speak, thy servant hears you. Samuel. I have warned Eli and his sons to purify themselves, and still they refuse. Behold, a day of judgment will soon come against them. You weren't in bed. Well, <clears throat> what did he say? Uh, well, tell me. I can't. Oh, come, come. Don't hide it from me, Samuel. Is it, uh, is it about me and my sons? <laughs> he said he warned you already. Oh, tell me everything said that your time of judgment has come, that it's too late. Oh, Eli, why didn't you change? <sighs> oh, oh, the Lord will do what the Lord will do. I, I deserve it. I, I knowingly disobeyed and let my sons do the same. But you, you, Samuel, 
You have received what I have waited for all my life. Serve him, Samuel. How did you like that video? Okay, a few questions. What did Samuel hear? And what did he think this was? And what was it really? Do you know? So, let's start. What did Samuel hear? Yes, that's correct. He heard someone calling his name. And Samuel thought Eli was calling him. Remember, he went to see Eli, Eli three times. And what was it actually? It was God calling him. And what did God tell him? You remember? God told him about his sons. It was very, very sad. And because of that, children, God chose Samuel to lead his people. Because Samuel, as we know, listened carefully to God's word. He obeyed God's word. And he shared God's word with others. Who wants to be a leader? Do you know what a good leader is? Hmm, so what makes a good leader? Let us look at Eli's sons and Samuel. Now, these are Eli's sons and this is Samuel. Eli's sons, they did not listen to God's word. They did not speak of the truth. They broke God's law on marriage. They did not serve God like a king. They do not gain any approval of his people. And they were very greedy. Whereas for Samuel, he speak of the truth. He listened to God and obeyed God. He read the word of God. He served God like a king. He served God faithfully in the temple. And he gained approval from his people. Looking at Eli's sons and Samuel, we know that Samuel is a good leader. And that is why God has chosen Samuel to be a leader. He served God faithfully and obeyed God, listened to God. He served God in temple until he is very, very old. That also makes a good leader. Let us pray for all the leaders around the world so that they may listen to God, obey God, and serve God faithfully in whatever things they are doing. So children, you can always ask God to guide you when you don't know what to do. But you must be ready to obey Him when He does answer you and tell you to do something even if it's not something you like to do. Okay? Can I pray for that? Sure, Ellie. Let's pray. Uh -huh. Children, let's put our hands together and close our eyes. Father God, you help us to be obedient, to listen to your voice, and learn to obey, even if we don't feel like it. Thank you, God, for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good job praying, Ellie. So children, remember to have a quiet heart when you listen to God. Okay? Ellie? Ellie? What are you looking for? I got a pencil. Alright. I got an eraser. Okay. I'm ready. Ready? Huh? Oh yeah! Do tell Daddy and Mommy to get your class materials from your children's church teachers on the chat room. Okay? You can do them with Mommy and Daddy for this lesson. We hope you enjoy this session today. Oh dear, it's time to go! Oh no! Oh, it's okay, we will see you again. Remember? Shall we end with a song? 